Hello everyone, welcome back to CFT College. I'm Ashkan and uh, in this tutorial we will continue our course on TechPlot. Uh, I hope so far uh, you find uh, videos useful and you like them. Uh, so before starting the video, uh, if you like you know these kinds of videos and CFD and you want to learn more about it, uh, please subscribe the channel. Uh, share these videos with your friends and uh, if you have any comment or question you can uh, put your comment in the comment section and uh, that's it uh, let's jump to the uh, main topic of this tutorial uh, so far uh, you have learned how to uh, know how you can uh, generate a chart uh, and you know import your chart data into TechPlot and uh, you know how to uh, generate a line chart uh, but in this video uh, I will going to teach you how you can uh, create a bar chart uh, many times when we have uh, you know some data and we would like to show the histogram uh, we use this type of uh, chart so uh, for example uh, if we have uh, this data uh, which is uh, the velocity and we have a fraction uh, in you know the percentage of uh, you know the data uh, at this velocity, at this velocity, and here uh, is the cumulative, uh, you know, uh, value uh, neglected uh, for now. Uh, thing, I assume that we have velocity and fraction, and we want to show this histogram in, uh, you know, TechPlot. So the first thing we have to do is uh, create uh, the data file. Uh, so let me create that you know how to do it it's easy mm, we need to create a text file uh, name for example bar chart and we need to copy paste the data here uh, we, you can uh, write these commands variables equals to velocity for the first column and the unit is meter per meters per second and fraction for the second column which is percentage uh you can show you can specify the zone name uh for example bar chart it's not important because uh, if you have mm, more than one column and you want to show different uh you know histograms you have to specify uh different you know names for each zone, you know that if you have seen our previous video. So this is the file. Uh, you can you should save it, and then easily you can uh, rename it to change the format of the file to PLT from TXT text to PLT. And now uh, you can just uh, drag and drop it onto TechPlot and you will have uh, this frame uh, you can see here this is the fraction here we have the velocity uh, as I told you in future in the future in the previous videos uh, the first thing you have to do is to reduce the size of the frame like this because you want to uh, put the figure in, in you know a report or uh, the paper 
if you want it for presentation uh, you don't need to do that uh, okay as you know uh, you can modify the chart for example you can close it uh, you can have a closed box you can change the range to nice values for both x and y axis uh, but you know how you can modify the uh, plot the chart uh, I don't waste time for doing that because uh, you can see uh, my previous videos uh, in order to have the bar chart you should enable this bars icon uh, here under the tree the outline tree so if you uh, check this bars uh, and select them you will see the bar chart uh, you can have the line or you can deselect this mm, for example you can have it and you can change it so for example from solid to dash line but it's uh, not usual and uh, we usually uh, deselect the lines uh, if you want to modify the bars uh, you should go to mapping style and under the bar charts uh, you can see the uh, settings uh, first of all if you have uh, different maps you can uh, you know indicate you can choose uh, whether to uh, show them or not you can uh, select or deselect this option or this option uh, and in the in this uh, se section you, you can see here uh, vertical bar direction uh, that's why you uh, or we have these bars you can change it if you want uh, horizontal bars but in that case you have to change x and y axis see this is not what we wanted to have so in this case you have to change the x and y uh, access variables or you can uh, you know change it here uh, into the file in the file uh, let's uh, change it to vertical uh, here is the bar size uh, you can increase it or you can decrease it it's the width of each bar uh, this is a line thickness you know and this is the outline color and this is the fill color the filling mode is on specific color you can change it to none now you have uh, empty bars you can uh, change and modify the line thickness like this uh, you can change the outline color as you wish uh, and you can uh, modify the fill color uh, to a specific color or line color or background color uh, if you have if you want to have this kind of bar chart uh, you know we the bars uh, have one specific color uh, you can choose uh, line color uh, but you can change it to specific color to have these these kinds of uh, representations uh, what else we can do mm, yeah that's nothing else i think it's uh, what we can do with bar charts uh, so uh, let me save yeah let me save the layout we will have uh, another video about these two uh, you know uh, saving or layout uh, types and formats uh, for you to know the difference but uh, here let me choose LPK for chart okay sometimes uh, we want to have the cumulative chart uh, 
along with this bar with these bars so in that case we need to two zones we need to add uh, you know this column the cumulative uh, data so in that case uh, let me add another column to the file so I have to generate new data file like this and then uh, bar charts plt I can copy paste it bar chart line the name is no not important and now I can modify it using notepad plus plus I highly recommend uh, uh, this software it's very useful so uh, make sure that you have it and it's free and then you can copy paste the data here but the the first column is velocity but the second column is uh, cumulative, cumulative data okay and uh, zone T the name of the zone can be line chart because uh, the cumulative uh, data should be a line chart you can add uh, that data to this one or you can have you can you know add uh, that data this data to this one the data you had uh, and you can add it uh, you know to the take out but just drag and drop and uh, do the rest in another file uh, for example if I want to do that I have to drag and drop this see if everything is lost because you add a new set of data and uh, now if you go to map style mapping style you will see you have two different maps one for line which is cumulative and the other is bar chart <clears throat> let me show you something if in this case if uh, we <clears throat> modify the range of access you will see that uh, there is a confusion uh, for y-axis because TechPolot doesn't know whether it is you know fraction or cumulative data so in this case you should have a chart with two y-axis to do that you know that uh, you should go under the definitions tab and uh, choose Y2 for one of these maps I prefer to have the uh, bar chart you know bars on the left Y axis and the cumulative data on the right axis so I choose I will choose uh, this one as y2 now we have fraction on this on the second y-axis and uh, we have sorry fraction on the left uh, y-axis and the cumulative data on the uh, right y-axis uh, we have to uh, do some modification for y1 we can uh, change the maximum range uh, so and we let me first show select show grid border to have a closed box and then for second y-axis um, zero for minimum and 100 for maximum and you can increase it a bit for example 120 if you want to uh, see uh, better line and uh, 
you know uh, the modification for example for the label or for the title you can use here use cumulative cumulative for the second y-axis for x-axis and y-axis everything is fine you can just increase offset a bit this is for y1 oh sorry it's for the labels i wanted to do that for title and for x1 and for y2 okay now you have to select bars and go to mapping style under the uh, bar charts deselect show bars for line because we don't uh, want to see bar charts for cumulative data and we also don't uh, want to see line chart for the bars you know for the fractions so for under the lines tab you should deselect show lines for bar chart map okay now this is uh, what we needed uh, you can modify it a bit if you want you can modify the bar chart mm, no this is better I think the red color uh, is fine and uh, yeah that's it it's what uh, we wanted and let me yeah there is no there's nothing left now you have bar charts bars you know and the cumulative line which shows you the cumulative data uh so in this case uh both lines and bars uh should be checked don't forget that and you can save it you can export the figure in wmf format and you can save the layout just like what i did a couple minutes ago uh i think it's enough for this session thank you for being with us thank you for sharing these videos with your friends uh, i hope uh, you find this video useful and uh, please subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up uh, you know and uh, if you uh, like these videos please share this uh, with your friends and if you have any comment uh, you can find the contact info uh, in the channel description, uh, my email, my LinkedIn, my uh, you know Telegram account, and so you can reach me out uh, by one of these ways. And uh, thank you for watching the video again, and until the next video, take care of yourselves and bye bye.